Hello friends, this video on p-block element part 35 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about the sulfur dioxide now. It is an important compound of this group 16 elements. The sulfur dioxide is formed actually when the sulfur is burned in oxygen. We've just seen this reaction. Sulfur plus oxygen will give you sulfur dioxide. There's a colorless gas with a pungent smell. And you will study about these uh, in the uh, next slide. So this is formed again when sulfur is burned in oxygen. In the lab, we can actually prepare uh, the sulfur dioxide by treating sulfide with dilute sulfuric acid. I have a sulfide. I can treat with any acid. I'll get sulfur dioxide. But in industry, we use a better way. What we do, we have something called roasting of sulfide ores we have seen in the last chapter. So roasting of sulfide ore actually has SO2 as the byproduct. For example, if S2 I had, I'll roast it to make oxide. Then you will see that you will get sulfur dioxide as a byproduct. So, in the large scale, we don't use the lab way because it's costly. We use the roasting method. Anyway, roasting is used to, uh, to purify or to extract metals from the sulfide ores. So, in that case, SO2 is a byproduct. We talk about the property of uh, sulfur dioxide, it is again a colorless gas. but it has a pungent smell, it has very bad smell. It is highly water soluble. If you see, sulfur dioxide will immediately react with water to form sulfurous acid. And uh, it is typically gas, but you can liquefy it even at the room temperature. But for that, you have to uh, give the pressure of 2 atm. Okay. And if you want to boil it, you need a temperature of 263 Kelvin. Okay. So if you see water soluble in water, it reacts to form sulfurous acid. This uh, sulfur dioxide will also react with sodium hydroxide to form sodium sulfide. Okay. And if you give more and more sulfur dioxide, it will form sodium hydrogen sulfide. I'll show you the reaction. I have uh, sodium hydroxide to react with sulfur dioxide to form Na2SO3 and some water molecule. Now this Na2SO3 will again react with some water and again some more sulfur dioxide. You give NaHSO3. This is sodium hydrogen sulfide and this is my sodium sulfide. Okay. And this SO2 will also react with chlorine in the presence of some charcoal that will be used uh, as a catalyst. It will form my sulfury chloride SO2Cl2. This SO2 can be oxidized actually in the presence of vanadium oxide catalyst. So, yeah, SO2 can oxidize to SO3 but for this you need some catalyst vanadium oxide catalyst this SO2 when moist moist SO2 that means with some water right this is moist SO2 it acts as reducing agent example example this reacts with uh, ferric oxide or a ferric ion it become Yes, it is reduced and the reaction will be SO4 to minus and some H plus. Okay. If you want to see the shape, shape of this SO2, it is like this. It has a resonance. It is like this. Lone pair, three lone pair, two lone pair. Yes, 
This is angular in shape. So that's all we have the property of sulfur dioxide. Let's see some of the uses of sulfur dioxide. It is used for the petroleum refining. Petroleum refining it is used. It is used for uh, sugar refining also. It is used for the bleaching, bleaching of wool and silk. It is used for disinfectant. This is my disinfectant. It is also used for the preservatives. It is used uh, to manufacture sulfuric acid. And it is also used as a solvent. As a solvent to dissolve both my organic and inorganic chemicals. So once again petroleum refining, sugar refining, used for bleaching, disinfectant, used for preservatives, used to prepare sulfuric acid. Let's take one numerical on uh, sulfur dioxide. What happens when sulfur dioxide is passed through aqueous solution of ferric salt? We have seen that uh, the moist sulfur dioxide acts as a uh, reducing agent, right? Only the moist, moist SO2 is my reducing agent. Just on this reaction, so I have Fe3 plus with aqueous solution on this sulfur dioxide is passed. So what becomes Fe2 plus and you get SO4 to minus and H plus. Okay. Comment on the nature of SO bond formed in SO2 molecules. Are uh, these two bonds equal? Yes, they are in the resonance actually. Yes, so the structure of SO2, this was the structure. The Lewis dot structure you can draw on your own. And this is in resonance. So, this is the structure. Actually, if you want to write a combined structure, you can draw something like this, right? So this length is actually 143 picometer and this angle is 109.5 degree. Yes, their length is the same. How is the presence of SO2 detected? We just discussed this actually. So, the pink MnO4 will turn colorless. MnO4 minus is pink. It will turn colorless. So you can see the reaction for this. I have KmNO4. This is pink in color. You react with sulfur dioxide and some water solvent. You get MnSO4 plus K2SO4 plus H2SO4 and this is colorless and this is pink. Another test is my if you take acidified K2Cr2O7 this will turn green. If this turn green that means SO2 is there. Example can uh, the reaction will be K2Cr2O7. This is orange. And this react with sulfur dioxide, water and solvent. So it's acidified, so I'll take H2SO4 actually. Yeah. And then you get K2SO4 and Cr2. SO4 3 and some water molecule. This part is green. So from orange to green. There are so many other tests. In fact, iodine, iodine test. Iodine is violet in color. When iodine reacts with my again sulfur and water as my solvent, you get H2SO4 and 2HI. And this is all colorless. 
there's so many tests actually. You can take FeCl3 ferric chloride, which is yellow in color. In the last reaction we just saw, Fe3 plus, you can take FeCl3 and uh, water and SO2, this is yellow in color. It becomes FeCl2. This is ferrous chloride and this is green color. Okay, so there are so many tests we can do to detect the sulfur. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.